the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may attack courtiers and royal aides in the three remaining episodes of their documentary Harry and Meghan, a royal expert said. Commentator Richard Fitzwilliams noted the most scorching claims featured in the teasers released by the U.S. streaming platform ahead of the series' debut have yet to be aired. This leads to thinking they will be included in episodes 4, 5 and 6, called Volume 2 by the entertainment giant, to, to be focused on Meghan and Harry's matrimony, the birth of their son and their decision to leave the firm. The second half of the show the expert said, could see attacks on courtiers, given in one of the teasers Harry speaks of leaking and planting of stories after explaining there is a hierarchy in the royal family. Mr Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the second trailer for the Netflix series Harry and Meghan contained a clip of Harry talking about a dirty game and their lawyer saying there was a war against Meghan to suit other people's agendas. These comments did not appear in the early episodes. Although they were the subject of barbed comments and accused of unconscious bias there were no direct attacks on senior royals in the first three episodes. However, although it was clear that the enormous pressure from the media was pivotal to their decision to step down as senior working royals, the next three episodes are likely to give more details. This seems certain to involve attacks on courtiers. Whether it indicts members of the royal family individually is the big question. If so, what, one wonders, could they do in response as this will go worldwide and be very damaging? The expert added any attacks will concern the palace albeit conceding criticism or allegations against anonymous courtiers would not be as damaging as claims aimed at members of the royal family. Asked about how King Charles could move to protect the firm if the documentary's volume 2 is damaging, the commentator added, the palace cannot respond point by point. A statement even in extremis would mean little. Not inviting them to the coronation and cutting off all contact is a nuclear option but the only real one if the coming episodes and Harry's memoir go beyond the pale. Mr Fitzwilliams further shared his thoughts on the docuseries on Twitter, describing its first three episodes as self-indulgent, overlong and rather ridiculous. He then referred to the third episode, more focused on racism and the Commonwealth, adding, the attack on the Commonwealth, the Queen's precious legacy was extremely unwise. This is so destructive as 2.4 million saw it in UK. Writer Afua Hirsch, one of the experts taking part in the Netflix program, branded the Commonwealth, created during the reign of King George VI and strengthened and expanded during the late Queen's reign, Empire 2.0. She said, the Commonwealth is still described as that, you know, a club of friends who share common values. I find that language really problematic. I sometimes call the Commonwealth Empire 2.0, because that is what it is. She later added the roots of poverty in nations that used to be part of the British Empire are based on the extraction of their wealth elsewhere which created intergenerational poverty. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were made President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, an organization championing young leaders across the 56-strong association, by the late, 